As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? As if he'd been waiting for his cue. <laughs> dun dun dun! Hina has gained enough experience to level up! What's the matter? So, what was this awesome something? M Monica What the heck? You guys all seem... You guys all seem remarkably good spirits! Did something happen? No, no, nothing in particular. Oh, give me secrets! No fair, I demand an exclusive interview! Denied, denied, super denied! Yeah, yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Do it? You mean, like, do it? Oh, fucking hell. You mean, like, do it? Do it? Wait, what? What do you mean, do it, do it? Ew, gross! You can't do it! Oh, shit, why do they... Okay, that works anyway, sort of. Ew, gross! You said do it! What? You said it at first? <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We had not had the chance to relax in some time. Huh? huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. Hina won the match for us, and that is why we are also pleased. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... <laughs> okay, boys. Why don't you head to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on. Ah, uh, jeez, what are you gonna do, Ed? That's fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste and Aztec coming up with a bruise, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh, um. Uh, um. Damnation! Nothing, gammy, we told you not! Another day! I mean, get my. Never day without getting came my very first bath here. Uh, um. Yeah, but for tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so. Should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey! Hold on! Hey! Hey! Something strange here. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? <laughs> Why, strange is. This is a perfect chance for you to take a sneak peek! To sneak a peek! Oh, fucking hell. Huh? <laughs> that, that's... You're absolutely right! I thought you were all about the dirty. <laughs> all of you need to shut up, sit down and listen to what I have to say. No opportunity like this doesn't come along. Very often, it's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask myself. Should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monica was said, or just quietly go back to the dining hall? Okay, let's go! Not a man's fantasy. The ma oh, fuck me now. Ugh. Is this gonna get porny? Here we go. Oh, God. Okay. Cartoon porn. Never thought I'd ever watch anything like this, to be honest. Never thought I'd actually watch hentai, but here we go. Is this YouTube friendly? Who fucking knows at this point? With a man's fantasy batting in my chest, I decided to head back to the bathhouse. Uh -huh. Boo -hoo -hoo. Have fun if your man's fantasy! <laughs> have a smashing good time! Oh god, I have a feeling I'm gonna... No, don't... Don't actually have taken a bath, I don't want to watch hentai, don't do it. We opened the door to the dressing room, silent as death, and peeked inside. It looked like the girls had already finished changing and had gone into the bathhouse. This had all started as a lie, but apparently they decided to go in for real. Making sure it was empty, we quietly made our way into the dressing room. The Forbidden Land. Oh, but... God. So they really are taking a bath, this is what Celeste meant about lying convincingly. Make a Goku, please refrain from pointing at whispering, we're keeping enemy territory here. Get up ahead of the bathhouse and get away. A great dazzling passing. I take it it's just us three. Yeah. So Taka's nowhere around. Bloody hell. Why are we doing this? Why are you Mr. You don't know fancy you know you need to come down, try counting prime numbers. What the fuck? 
I place my hand on the door leading into the bathhouse. I open it gently inch by inch. I maneuver my hand like a master craftsman to avoid making even the slightest sound. A little further, a little further, and then, here we go. Welcome to Hentai. On the other side of the thick, rising steam, I saw... Hentai. What? What the fuck is the point in that? <laughs> I'm not sure how to put it, but I always feel refreshed after a job well done. A freaky body can kill Ben, you new state I suppose! <laughs> Fucking hell! You horny bastard! <laughs> I suppose 3D tits aren't bad. Fuck, you know. 3D fanny ain't bad. <laughs> oh, hey, that's American. Um, vagina! Clit! There we go. That's what fanny means in the UK. Which is why the robot called out and fanny had to. Couldn't be called out and funny in UK. But still, I just can't believe it, like for serious. Ogre's oh, real. Ogre's a girl. Ogre? Who the fuck is Ogre? Was this really okay? Well, I look too, so I guess I'm gonna have to say yes. Meanwhile, we what the fuck is the point of that bit of plot? Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy noises growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and, and joined us in the dining hall. We've seen all your tits! <laughs> ah, man, what a nice this bath. Get <coughs> fuck. <laughs> Getting fucked? <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Getting, I coughed, and I went fuck because I coughed. <laughs> okay, getting fucked, it turns to stretch out to relax. <laughs> After all this time, it's a true pleasure. Oh, Christ. Indeed. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's see how much wrong this could get. Of course. Okay, it's 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 over now, right? That's over now. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but <laughs> sorry, no time for that. So in the end, that's what I figured. Huh? huh? Actually, we were going to say in the bathhouse it was just about the time for you to get to something. Because After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for too long. You're all so terrible. You're all so... You're all so terrible to me. My entire existence. Everyone's so cold and mean. Even after I got presents for all of you all. No, don't fall for it, Mako. Presents? Well now, well now, well now, well now. Mm. Oh! Have I got your attention? Disneyland merchandise! Buy it, you fuckers! Boo! Then let's head to the gym! Buy your presents away! See uh -huh. you later! Hi, Mickey! There we go! Hi, Blue Law! No questions, no diddy diddy! Get a move on! Clear fame will become clear! Oh, um. Why is it? Why are you trying. Why are you scheming this time? He's probably going to repeat the same thing again. Fighting us with a no motive to get things huh? moving. Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Me ever. I'm like totally traumatized. Oh, it's okay. We have alter ego. I'm sure we'll find something that helps us. So for now, we have to just endure it. Come with me. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. When we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To keep waiting by the likes of you, rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Biaka, did you get here, Eddie? Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. Hmm, <laughs> the same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand. What the heck? Oh, she's back to a Debbie down the south. <laughs> I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. Oh, now she goes to me, yet the depressive. Whenever she sneezes, seems kind of late to I get into the mix. What the heck? Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you will win the lottery and get hit by a bus. Right, win the lottery, not too much of a threat. Getting hit by a bus is, but the two don't really work together. 
So when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... Here we go! Here comes the springy little bastard! Here we go! Dun, 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 boing! Here we go! Boing! Fat arse! Fat arse on the table! You guys? It looks like everyone's here! So then, let's get started! What? Come on, out of it! What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Yeah, that's right, we're not going to lose to you ever again. Come on! Boo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! You don't have to get so defensive! Calm down! I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the word whoosh! I've been using the whoosh, and I will not win to get you all moving. But sometimes you've got to use the sun to light a fire. And there's so much bad- <laughs> Without further ado, I give you this! Kaching, kaching! Ten million dollars! I prepared okay. this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wowie wow wow, am I right? Them. So that's the motive you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is... It's not nearly enough. It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's a mystery novel or the real world. Mm. But, but, there's no way we kill each other for money. She's right. You simply can't purchase a person's life. Um, you can say it to Mary and no however much. I don't give a crap for serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on, stop trying to act tough. Most important thing to live a pure, moral, communal life is what? Huh? Okay. Oh, is he talking about money? Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage with a massive sum of money. Well, let's just pick it up now and split it between us. Um. Because he's left it on the fucking table. There, there's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. Y yeah, there might be someone here who's having m m money problems. Well, we're stuck in fucking here anyway. Personally, I've owned over one million dollars for my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Uh, I'm telling you. <laughs> me? What about y you? I'm a super puppy. I can't get crazy. I don't have any problem making up. You buy my comic and give me. But, but then, hey. just stop. Bursting up is about a person in finances is ugly. Uh, uh, ugly? <laughs> Don't worry, either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. This is the nature of this game. It's night time! Someone's gonna die! <laughs> The doors to the okay, then. Yeah, it's Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Oh, you know what it is, anyway. You know that he says about well, it being prohibited. So she couldn't have got the donuts, anyway. Hmm. It's that time already, huh? Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my door open to make sure... Why would you fucking remind everyone? Nothing happens to alter ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Or the predator may suddenly find itself to prey. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. You know? Oh, okay. Let's everyone just head back to our rooms. And don't think about that whole money thing. Got it? Good. Then let's break. Mm. How was that pretty good, Rat Talker? Mm. Right. 
I like how he's taking charge. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money. There's no way that's going to get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my head, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time, about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time, this time it's different. I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind. Alter Ego. We finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. Someone's dead again, motherfucker! Wake up! Little kids have it so easy! Cause they can put all... Put little in front of their name. And right off the bat everyone thinks they're cute! We'll find them! I want everyone to start calling me Lil Monokuma! See? Just by adding that, my coolness goes up by at least 10% right? Yeah, but what doesn't happen? Nearly enough Lil's. More Lil's- Lil Wayne! More Lil's would lead to salvation of the world! Just imagine! Little arsonist, little war criminal, little destruction of the environment, little him run, little <coughs> death tax, little great depression. Even the darkest subject can suddenly become brighter. Our dreams are expanding, ding ding. Actually, I think you'll find there are only two of these dinging in the actual text. Wake up, you lazy fuckers! Who's dead today? Well then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. Oh, I can't be asked looking for fucking Monokuma coins and all that shit. I probably are, but, uh... Actually, yeah, go on. I'll search for them. Well, they have only seen three people so far. So the people here today are the same as yesterday, just at seven. Mm. But your grand total will last course, bad. It looks like Taku's decided to stop coming for good too. Mm. It's like he's just given up. For people who want those tattoos he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. Mm. And another topic, Kyoko did everything go alright last mm. night? Yeah, I didn't have any problems. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but... Pyokuro seemed to hesitate, but... It's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway. I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted tension from the mastermind. Oh. I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule wow. about it? That's a good question. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on that, Ifumi? Oh. Um. oh. Okay, you've been naughty, naughty, naughty. No, no, it's just like you said, we all can't be very careful. <laughs> huh? Whatever it is, just hurry up and eat. We don't have a thing. Time to stand around here flapping our lips. I mean, we're just flapping something last night with alter ego. But sure, I don't want that to be known to everyone. Jeez, why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? We ate breakfast in a rush and headed back to our rooms. Free time! What should I do today? 